Hi there, my name is Scott Lowe. I'm a partner and co-founder of Actual Tech Media. I'm joined today by Tim Sheets, Vice President of Corporate Marketing for Falcon Store. Tim, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me, Scott. We're here to talk about software-defined storage, a very nebulous term. <laughs> Can you give us a 30,000 foot overview for what that really means? I, absolutely, you know, there's a lot of definitions and there's no real standard in the industry right now, but for Falcon Store, we're taking a very purist view. We've been software-defined from the beginning, but to Falcon Store, it means to us that the underlying hardware, the storage environment, right, needs to be agnostic to any hardware, network, or protocol. We really need to be able to be heterogeneous, separated from the hardware, so that customers have that flexibility and the freedom. You know, I do a lot of talking around the country, and people have a lot of questions about what does software defined really mean? So they ask questions about what does the hardware need to look like? What does my application then interact with? What does that look like generally in a software defined system? Absolutely, we, you know, really what you need to do is create that abstraction layer that's above the hardware. So it's below the operating system and the application, right? But it's in front of the hardware. It's that true middleware approach, if you will, for the data services so that you're independent. You've got the flexibility and freedom. You can begin to eliminate a cost, drive more flexibility and freedom within your storage infrastructure, right? Because you're abstracted from that hardware. You're no longer dependent. Now, Falcon Store takes an interesting approach with four pillars of services. Can you give us a brief overview of each one of those? Absolutely. In February of this year, we introduced FreeStore. And what we're really doing is we're creating that abstraction layer. We're virtualizing the underlying physical storage so that we can provision, deliver unified data services across your entire infrastructure, and begin to address the four really core use cases that we see customers using today, whether it's data mobility to migrate data, move data, continuity to make sure things are available, protect it, recover it, or certainly optimize it. Sounds good. Why don't we jump into one of the pillars now? Great. You know, one of the things that we have to keep in mind is that IT staffs are not growing very quickly at all. That's a fact. Right. The other fact is we're seeing lots of sprawl. We're putting more in the data center all the time. All flash arrays, hybrid, SaaS, HDD, cloud, tape, whatever it happens to be. We have to, we have to tame this. It's too expensive, it's too complex, and it's not optimal in any way, shape, or form. Tell me what FreeStore can do to help solve this problem. You know, right, you know, as we see, you know, why, why is new storage technology invented, right? It's better mousetrap, it's faster, it's more effective, it's more efficient, more performance. There's a lot of different drivers. And so as new technology comes in, that's one of the challenges organizations are having is how do I keep it up? How do I merge it in? How do I change paradigms? How do I change technologies? Well, having to stop eliminate what I've already invested in, mm -hmm. use what I have, how do I get that path forward in a non-disruptive way? And we talked about you know, our data mobility because we abstract, now we can go across those different, different types of storage. But just because you put in different types of storage, now doesn't mean you're being efficient with that storage. In fact, you may actually be exacerbating the problem with more silos, more islands of storage. One of the things with FreeStore, because we are virtualizing the underlying storage, pull part of it in, pull all of it in, whatever works for you and your organization, your requirements, right? But when you pull it in, you create a common global storage pool. That's where we really help organizations begin to optimize, right? Mm -hmm. So not only can they optimize by b better utilizing the storage they have, they're no longer dealing with array by array, leaving trapped or, or you know, uh, captive storage, they can free that up and go use it in other places. But in addition, now start to think of, once I get into this repository, how can I further optimize it? Well, obviously, multiple copies of data are going to exist on multiple arrays, especially if you're replicating. How can I begin to deduplicate? But that could present a challenge in and of itself. Because today, we see that you know, hardware manufacturers often now have deduplication built into their platform. We even see other software vendors doing it. But again, you're doing it array by array, platform by platform. That's not always the most efficient. Well, it also creates additional challenges. You're ha constantly having to dedupe and rehydrate as you move between systems. You know, uh, exactly. With FreeStore, because we've got that global pool here, now we can deduplicate at the global layer, getting you much more efficient across the entire pool. The other challenge that you have is because each hardware manufacturer is going to do it in a different format and a different structure to different levels of efficiency, if you need to move that data, again, you've got to rehydrate it, move it over here. You don't have to do that anymore with FreeStore. We've already abstracted it, so if you need to move it, you're already moving it within the pool. It's abstracted from the under, you're no longer taken advantage of, or restrained, excuse me, by those physical constraints of the underlying platform. If you want to change types, you can do it. It doesn't matter. You can move from flash to disk to tape, or even ultimately to cloud, right? Think of the, each one of these is a container. We don't care what that container is, we're abstracted from it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to move it to a more optimized 
capacity or, or, or excuse me, optimize, you know, the storage container, FreeStore helps you do that. Again, you can optimize how you move it across. You can now begin to optimize the type of storage. Think about it. You can now begin to say, hey, I can right size my storage based on business requirements, performance requirements, and price requirements. So if I want to have some on flash, I can put flash in. If I need to take it because it's not being utilized or it's not as critical and move it to a lower cost medium, I can do that. If I want to make copies and put it on the most cost constrained, you know, cost optimized, excuse me, medium, I can do that, whether that's tape or even out to the cloud. Right. Now, we've talked a little bit um, about all of this stuff, but there's also three other pillars. And I, how does that, how do those work into the optimization story? Uh, again, I mean, there's a lot of different angles of optimization that we can do. You know, one of the things that we do, okay, is the fact that with FreeStore, we're one platform. Because we're one platform, we also now have one console across your entire storage infrastructure. So we're optimizing, removing those silos for you, taking complexity out of the equation. Just think about it. We can come in, we can merge storage in that we want to begin to manage with FreeStore. Now I don't have to go manage array by array. I can see the underlying array. I can see what's available, what's being used, do I have connectivity issues. Mm -hmm all through my console here. I can't manage this, but I can see what's going on. So instead of going array by array to see you know, what capacity I have left, how much I've used, I've got a single plane of glass to do that. I can begin to turn those services on or off as you need them. Of course, you know, FreeStore can be construed as it's a Swiss Army knife, all things to all people. We don't want to be that. What we're saying is by these pillars, we can help you optimize what makes sense for you, your requirements, and your environment and now you've got a single tool to do that. And as you evolve over the course of time, when your business requirements change, your price performance, your budgets change, you don't have to stop, get a new license, go to procurement, pay a fee. You can turn them on or off at will without disruption. And how would you summarize the whole package? Well, really, you know, at FreeStore, we like to say it, it's one platform with one view across your entire infrastructure for one price. Right. And that's an entire separate discussion that we'll get into very Excellent. soon. Thank you, Tim, for being here. Thank you. And I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media.